guys and welcome back to my channel and my bathroom as you can see from the title of the video and from where we are right now um this video is going to be how i style my everyday waves which you guys have been asking for so long i am so sorry i know this video is so long overdue but here we are so i'm gonna keep it short and sweet for you guys because i literally do the exact same thing to my hair pretty much every day or at least when i curl my hair this way um whether it's freshly washed or second day hair like going out at night i always do this routine so i'll jump right into it everything will be linked down below and i hope you guys enjoy okay so right now i am starting with freshly washed hair but even if my hair is on second day hair or third day hair or whatever throughout the day if i want to give it a little bit of a revamp my first step and my favorite part is adding a little bit of volume at the root and also kind of like blow drying my front pieces to kind of give them that blow up vibe even though we will be curling our hair but i love when they just kind of like pop up and frame your face perfectly. So my favorite tool for that is the Seltra After Hours Dryer Brush. And this actually comes with two attachments. So I'm using the round brush right now, but it also comes with more of like a sleek brush for just like drying your hair. And this dries your hair so, so quick, but also so easy because I know for me, I think I kind of got the hang of using like a blow dryer and a round brush with two hands but for me it was really tough for a very long time and this is such an easy hack you literally brush through your hair and with one movement you kind of get the same effect of getting a blowout but you can do it at home so it has hot general and cool i obviously am going to use it on hot so what i'm going to do is just section the fronts and i'm actually going to round brush them away from my face coming from the bottom and then one from the top and then again one from the bottom and even though my hair is dry right now i look like a freak but even though my hair is dry right now this really is so effective so i do use this on wet hair and also dry hair and just kind of like whenever i want a little bit of a um, I look like I have a bob. Okay, so anyway, I'm putting this on hot right now. Okay, okay, so just to show you guys about the front pieces, see how they don't just like stick to my face like that? They kind of just pop up a bit. So I love this, especially when we curl our hair, it's gonna kind of like frame our face perfectly. So these are done. Now I'm going to move on to the root. So my little hack is actually flipping my hair to this side and I'm actually going to dry my hair and use the brush kind of pulling it the opposite way so that when I flip it back, I'm going to get a lot of volume at the root. So I just kind of do this to both sides. I'm going to start with this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so as you can already see, I have a lot more volume up here. This kind of just gave it a little bit of life after a second day hair, or even after your hair just dries flat after the shower. And then the last thing I use this brush for is kind of just brushing through the outer layer of my hair and getting any frizzy areas to be super sleek. As you guys can see, I have a super sleek base to start my hairstyle with. I personally like to start with a really sleek base to kind of let my hair fall and look as effortless as possible. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of hair oil to kind of just nourish my ends. We are in my bathroom, so everything is right here. I'm going to use the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. So I'm just going to take a little bit and warm it up in my hands. And just run it through my ends. Um, and also around the pieces in front of my face just to kind of get any last frizz um, and also just nourish my hair before we apply more heat. Okay, so moving on to actually curling my hair now. Um, I love using a one or one and a half inch curling wand. I find that that thickness of wand, kind of like this one, which I will get to in a second, anything around one or one and a half inches um, works best for my hair. I find that anything bigger than that doesn't hold as well on my hair. And obviously any wand that's thinner than this will give you like really curly curls which is a vibe sometimes so this one right here is also from seltra and this is also part of their after hours collection it is the titanium clipless wand i will link it below it's actually great if you're just getting into curling your hair and want to find what works for you or if you're looking for a new one it's super effective super affordable the titanium wand actually gives equal heat across your hair um some curling wands that i've tried only like get super hot at the top um, so anything else kind of doesn't get curled as well, but this is super even. The titanium wand is actually great for getting rid of any frizz and keeping your hair 
sleek, but also getting the job done. I should not be waving a hot tool around. You can also control the temperature. I have it on 300 right here. I find that that works best for my hair. And what I'm gonna do is take about an inch or so section of hair and I don't know why I always start with this section of hair first I guess this is good for just demonstrating and I'm actually gonna turn the curling wand upside down and what I'm gonna do is wrap my hair around the barrel going away from my face just once and I'm gonna hold it about an inch or so from my roots and hold it for a few seconds and just slowly drag it down and what we end up with is something like this. You can make it a little bit curlier if you want or the curl more tight, um, but I kind of like leaving it like this. I find that it just looks the most natural. So I'm gonna just flick that to the other side for right now. Um, you can use an alligator clip or some type of clip to be more organized, but this is what works for me. I'm gonna take another section of hair now and I'm gonna curl it towards my face. So the opposite direction of the last piece we just curled but repeating the same kind of thing. And you kind of just get a little bend like this, just in case I wasn't clear. Let's do this one more time, and then I'm gonna speed through this. So another section of hair, leaving about an inch from the root, taking the curling wand, turling it, curling it, turling it, <laughs> curling it upside down, wrapping my hair once, I guess this is twice, around the barrel, and just slowly sliding it down. And this piece of hair, I'm not curling the last inch. I'm going to leave it straight. So we get something like this. I'm gonna throw it over my shoulder and work from the back towards the front, um, from one side to the next. This one I'm gonna curl towards my face, so the same thing, but I'm just rotating the direction of the curl. Slide it down and I'm leaving the end straight, like that. So what we curled so far looks like this. Um, as you can see, the ends are straight, which gives it that lived in look. So I'm gonna work my hair on this side from the back towards the front, go to the next side and meet you guys when we get to the bangs. So we have one side basically done. I haven't brushed through it or anything yet. This I haven't curled as well on my front pieces because I like to do them at the end. Um, so I'll get to that in a second, but let's curl my left side. Okay, so the hair from the back to the front is pretty much done. We obviously have to put a little bit of product in, but I have to do the front pieces still. So for that, I like to take bigger sections of hair. So what I'm gonna do is grab my front piece and I'm going to wrap it around the barrel like a half wrap. So what this is gonna do is give us just a little bit of a bend in the hair as opposed to a full curl, just like that. And then this one here, I didn't do as well. It's going to look something like this. So same thing on the other side. So now that my front pieces are all done, I'm gonna look through my hair and see if there's any last pieces that I think need a little bit more love, like this one. Some, like around the front, I'll actually take a piece maybe and start it right at the root because the higher the curls go, the more volume and texture your hair is gonna have. So I'll kind of let it start from really the top of my head. Um, but other than that, my curls really start around my eye level but I will go in and add a little bit of like higher curls for a little bit more texture. But other than that, I think my curling job here is done. And I keep looking in my mirror, which is right here, my setup right now. It's really weird. So once my hair is curled, my next step is texture spray. So I love, excuse my reach, the Beach Club Texture, texture Spray by IGK. And what I like to do is spray only the bottom of my hair. This does make your hair a little bit crunchy and like textury, which some people love, some people hate. I'm kind of like in between about it, so I'm not gonna spray too much, but it definitely is effective, which is why I love it. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just spray the bottom of my hair and kind of fan it out and crunch it up. So what this will do is create PCNs to your hair as opposed to your hair being super sleek and also define your curls a little bit, which makes them really beachy and fun. And my last step, so this right here is probably my hair product. I love this so much. It's also by IGK. It's called Good Behavior. It's the Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray, keratin-like treatment in a can. What I use it for is I will spray at the top of my head where I tend to frizz a lot, which is like right here. And I'll spray just a bit. Am I even hitting it? I can't even see. I'll spray at the top of my hair and then I'll take my brush, which is the Tangle Teaser, my absolute favorite and I will kind of brush just the very top of my hair to sleek it out. 
and get rid of any frizz. I don't know if you can tell, but any frizz that I had up here is now gone. It is so smooth and I tried this or I got it during Coachella. So in April of last year, it is now January of the next year. Still have not run out. It is my absolute favorite and I literally do not travel without this because sister, this saved my life. But with that all said, I think that sums up my everyday hair tutorial, which I know was so long overdue. So thank you guys so much for watching. But yeah, I will link everything I use in the description box below and I will see you in the next video.